In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Zoom for free virtual meetings or video conferencing. Hi there, David Walsh here once again from davidwalshonline.com, your place to connect and grow with video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zoom, which you can use for free to host video meetings, video conferences or virtual meetings. So if you need to host meetings while you're in self-isolation, this is the perfect tool to do so. So we're going to set it up, host a meeting and also see how to schedule meetings as well. So here we are on Zoom's website. Link is in the description below. So we're going to use Zoom's free version, which allows you to have up to 100 participants. You can have unlimited one to one meetings. You can have group meetings for up to 40 minutes and you have unlimited number of meetings as well. Now, if you're a tutor or a teacher and you're using Zoom to teach your students, then you can get the pro version for free. To see how to do that and how to teach using Zoom, there is a link in the description below to that video. So to sign up for your account, click on sign up. It's free on the top right. So you can use a business or work email here or a Hotmail or Yahoo email address. If you have a Google email address, you can sign in with Google or if you want to use Facebook, you can do that there. So I'm going to use a work email. Click on sign up. So if you're using a private email address, it will ask you to activate account, then pop in your name and create a password. Once you've got that done, click on continue. It asks you if you want to invite your colleagues, you can skip this step and then just go to go to my account. So to host a meeting, go up to the top right where it says host a meeting. Then you can host a meeting with video off. You can host a meeting with video on and you can share screen only. If you want to join a meeting, click on join a meeting. It will ask you which meeting number you want to go to and then you click on join. To schedule a meeting, click on schedule a meeting and then it will pop in the meeting name, description, time and date as well as other information there. So let's go and host a meeting with video off. So if you haven't got the Zoom app installed, then click on download and run Zoom. This will pop up the version that's right for your computer. So for Windows or Mac, download that, install it, and then you will have the app installed on your computer. When you have the app installed, it will run like this. So it asks me if I want to join with computer audio, I can click on that. And now my meeting is running. So our options on the app here are we have mute on the bottom. This is our audio settings. So if we click on the arrow here, this allows me to change the microphone that I'm using for the audio. So I can use my computer audio. I've got a microphone here. I also have a webcam. I can use the audio from that. It also allows me to change the speakers I'm using. So if you have a problem with not being able to hear somebody, use this to find out if it's using the proper speakers. You can also test your speakers here as well. Under start video, that is my video settings. So if I click the arrow here, this allows me to select which camera I want to use. So if I click on start video, so there you go, that's me. So you can see me on the video. Now with other people in here, you will see other thumbnails of other people on the top here. So our other options here is we can invite people to this meeting. So we click on the invite so we can send a default email. We can send it via Gmail or we can send it via Yahoo Mail. If we want to just send a WhatsApp message or another message via email or whatever, we can copy the URL and we can paste that in our email. We can take the whole invitation here. We can copy that, pop that in a message or email and send that to them. Now, if somebody's stuck and they're looking for the password, here is our password here. This is what they need to log in. If they've clicked the link correctly, they shouldn't need this, but sometimes it will go wrong and they need a password. So the next option here is manage participants. So if we click on that, it opens up a window on the right hand side. So we have some options here. Here's where we will see the list of people on this particular meeting. So we have the option to mute all. We can unmute all and under more, we can set the settings so that we mute participants on entry. Now, if you've got people working at home and then they've got kids or family in the background, 
This is a good option so that you mute all, so that you don't have the kids making noise or anything like that while you're having the meeting. You can see here that participants can unmute themselves, so if they need to talk, then they can unmute themselves and say what they need to say. You can also have it play a chime when somebody enters or exits. And you can also allow people to rename themselves if the name is wrong on the Zoom app. You can also lock the meeting as well if you want to. Our next option here is share screen. So if we want to share a document or a web browser or something that you're talking about with your team, you can do that here. So you click on that. So you select the window that you want to share and then that will share here. So you'll see that the people, the participants will pop up on the right here or they may go across the top and then your shared screen will typically go full size. So with that, if I stop that, share screen again. So we can see here that we can select individual windows. We can select the whole desktop here. So if you're going between Word, Excel, various documents, you can share your whole desktop as long as stuff isn't private on there that you don't want others to see. As I did before, you can select individual windows. So I've got a browser here. I've got my email here. I could have a Word document here, an Excel document here or something like that. You can select those individual documents or windows to show people on the call rather than your whole desktop. If you need to use a whiteboard, you have that option here. So you can write stuff on here. You can draw stuff on here, whatever. You can also undo, redo, clear, save. So if you are working in collaboration with people, you can start drawing stuff on here and map things out for your meeting. And to finish your whiteboard, click on close window. Now, chat allows you to add information here. So if you want to copy paste stuff in or start typing stuff in, you can do that here. Just simply type and then press return. You can also share files. Other options you have are you can disallow anyone from using the chat. You can set it to yourself or the host only. You can allow everyone publicly or everyone publicly and privately. Publicly and privately allows members to chat among themselves so the other team doesn't need to be involved. The next option here is to record. So if I click on record, this is going to record this meeting and it's going to save it to my computer. It will save a video file and it will also save an audio file as well. So whichever one you need, you have those options. So I can pause the recording or I can stop it, whichever one you want. I'm just going to select stop there. Other options here are reactions. So I can applaud somebody or I can thumbs up somebody for something they've said. This is a rather new option. So if you have an older version of Zoom and you don't see this, then download the latest update and that option will be there. So to finish your call, click on end meeting. So you've got two options, leave the meeting, which allows people to stay on if you just want to leave, or if you want to end a meeting for all, you click on end meeting for all. Then it will convert your meeting recording into the MP4 file and to the audio file. So you can see here, I've got my video file and my audio file here. When you sign into the app, pop in my username and password, you can see that I have the same options as I have on the website. I can start a new meeting, so I can start with video. I can join a meeting, I can schedule a meeting, or I can share screen on another meeting. So if I click on that, again, we come back up, we've got our video on. Or if I join a meeting, it's asking me for the ID. Schedule a meeting, I can pop in a meeting at any date with the various options. And then share screen is joining a meeting, sharing my screen. And again, it's gonna ask me for the meeting ID. That's how you set up host meetings and also schedule meetings with Zoom. If you've got any questions about this, let me know in the comments area below and I'll do the best I can to help you get that question answered. Now, if you're a teacher and you want to use Zoom to teach classes and get it for free, yes, for free, then make sure to watch my video on that. Link is in the description below. If you are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We upload videos Tuesdays and Thursdays to help you grow your business with video. And also make sure to watch one of these five videos here to help you grow your business with video.